Hello everyone and welcome to another marvellous video. When it comes to the Marvel Universe, there are many powerful characters who are known for their brute strength, be it the Thing from Fantastic Four or the Hulk. These characters are feared for their muscular strength and durability in fights. Over the years, comic book writers and artists have developed these characters and elaborated the scale of their strengths, and also factors which enhanced or inhibited their abilities. In today's video, we will be diving into the evolution of one such character in movies and animated series. It's none other than the unstoppable force Juggernaut. Created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, the character made his first appearance in X-Men issue 12, published in July 1965, and since then he has been one of the most menacing villains of the X-Men, gaining his powers from the mystical gem of Sitarak. Once Juggernaut generated momentum, he is unstoppable. He is immune to almost all sorts of physical attacks and wears a special helmet to protect himself from psychic. So without further delay, let us dive into his evolution in every media so far. Now before we go into our video, we have a small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to the channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Now let's begin. The power of the Juggernaut! I'm after the X-Men! Juggernaut in Spider-Man and his amazing friends and the Incredible Hulk 1982 animated series. Juggernaut's first animated appearance was introduced in 1982's Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Voiced by William H. Marshall, the character was massive in size and covered in a pantless body armor and helmet. Juggernaut's origins from the series were showcased in season two, episode three, titled A Firestar is Born. The issue began with Firestar and Iceman attending an X-Men reunion while Spider-Man encountered an angry juggernaut rushing towards the Xavier mansion to crush his half-brother Charles Xavier. As Firestar narrated her early life and struggles to the X-Men in their mansion, Juggernaut came crashing in with no Spider-Man there to stop him. The X-Men tried stopping him but all their efforts fell short to the brute strength of Juggernaut who kept destroying their defences one after the other. He finally reached Charles Xavier and was about to crush him before Spider-Man arrived and swiftly moved him away from Juggernaut's reach. Realising that stopping Juggernaut physically was not possible, the X-Men and Spider-Man managed to remove his helmet, following which the unstoppable Juggernaut became vulnerable to Xavier's psychic abilities. Charles immediately froze him and then made him fall asleep. Later, this version of Kane Marco, aka the Juggernaut, and the rest of the characters were stated to be from the reality of Earth 8107. Begin, Juggernaut. All right! And let nothing stand in your way. Juggernaut in Pride of the X-Men 1989 animated series. Juggernaut was next seen in 1989's Pride of the X-Men animated series where he was voiced by Ronald Gans. However, after the release of the first episode, the series could not be materialized and was eventually cancelled like many other Marvel shows at the same time. The show was made with influences from comic issues 129 to 139 of the Uncanny X-Men. The episode showcased Juggernaut as one of the members of Magneto's team the Brotherhood of Mutant Terrorists, which was a fresh idea as the character never really teamed up in the comics. Juggernaut's appearance was slightly altered in this case by adding pants to the armour. The plot revolved around the X-Men stopping Magneto's Brotherhood of Mutant Terrorists from unleashing their wrath on humans. As the episode began, Magneto could be seen being transported by a military convoy. He had been trapped in a force field that rendered his powers useless. Soon, White Queen, one of the members of the Brotherhood, arrived and scattered the convoy. She then dismantled the force field around Magneto and set him free. Meanwhile, a young mutant named Kitty Pride arrived at Professor Xavier's school to adapt her powers. She could phase through solid objects. The members of the X-Men welcomed her, except for Wolverine, who felt she was too young to join them. Being now free, Magneto joined his brotherhood of mutant terrorists and began orchestrating new plans. Juggernaut, who was the stepbrother of Charles Xavier, joined Magneto's team out of sheer hatred for his brother. Magneto first sent Pyro and and Blob to retrieve the tracking coordinates for the Scorpio Comet approaching Earth, where they would face the members of the X-Men, and Magneto would seize the opportunity to get hold of the mutant power circuit of Cerebro from Charles Xavier. Magneto arrived at X-Mansion, where there was only the Professor and Kitty Pride. Realising Magneto's purpose, Charles handed over the circuit to Kitty and asked her to escape, but Magneto eventually managed to take it from her. Magneto's plans were finally revealed. He wanted to redirect the approaching Comet into a collision with Earth. The enormous 
as dust owing to the bombardment would cover up the atmosphere for years and prevent sunlight from reaching Earth, thereby leading to a survival crisis for humans and world domination for mutants. The X-Men confronted Magneto and his team at his orbiting sanctuary, Asteroid M, and Juggernaut could be seen fighting Colossus. As Magneto was about to blast Nightcrawler, Kitty emerged from the floor, causing Magneto to blast the wiring of his own device. The two knocked Magneto and managed to use his power to direct the comet's course away from Earth towards Asteroid M. The X-Men managed to save Earth and defeat Magneto and his brotherhood of mutant terrorists, and that was the end of the episode. Eventually, this version of the characters, including Juggernaut, were designated from the reality of Earth 652975. Juggernaut in X-Men The Animated Series, 1993. 1992's X-Men The Animated Series was one of the most popular and recognised Marvel animated series. It showcased the reality of Earth 92131. With the first episode released on October 31st, 1992, the series engaged a huge fan base for its entire five seasons. Juggernaut was introduced in episode 8 of the first season titled The Unstoppable Juggernaut, released on March 6th, 1993. This version of Juggernaut had a similar appearance to that of Pride of the X-Men. Juggernaut later appeared in numerous episodes and his origins were showcased slightly deviated from that of the comics. Juggernaut, aka Kane Marco, was the son of Kurt Marco, who married a wealthy widow named Sharon Xavier. The widow had a son and he was none other than Charles Xavier. Kurt was always abusive towards Kane and feigned love for Charles. Kane grew up hating Charles, believing he was the reason why his father abused him and bullied Charles throughout childhood. In in adulthood, Kane once went on an expedition in Asia where he came across the Crimson Gem of Sitarak. The gem granted him powers and he became the Juggernaut. As Juggernaut, he wanted to take revenge on Charles. He attacked Xavier's mansion but realised that his stepbrother was not there. Later, the X-Men arrived to find their mansion destroyed. Accounting for the damage caused, they believed the one responsible to be huge in size. The X-Men began investigating and Wolverine, much to Cyclops' annoyance, left to search for the criminal alone. Jubilee discovered a big Russian mutant named Colossus who had the power to transform himself into steel. Both Jubilee and Wolverine suspected him of being the one until Wolverine realised that his smell was different from the one found in the rubble at the mansion. Later, Juggernaut resorted to robbing banks not to acquire wealth but to get the attention of Charles Xavier. The X-Men confronted him while robbing a bank and Wolverine managed to sneak behind Juggernaut and tear open the money bags. Jubilee placed the money back where it belonged and returned to help Wolverine fight Juggernaut. Juggernaut overpowered the two of them, and later when Colossus and Rogue arrived, he stated that since he could not find Charles, he resorted to robbing banks to get his attention. The rest of the X-Men, Cyclops, Jean Grey and Storm arrived, and they all began fighting Juggernaut, who still managed to hold his ground. Finally, after Rogue touched him, he became weak enough for Jean to use Cerebro and physically attack his mind. She then wiped his mind, which took a fair amount of time to recover from. Juggernaut later returned in Season 3, Episode 5, and appeared in numerous other episodes. Juggernaut in Fantastic Four 1995 Animated Series Juggernaut made a brief cameo appearance in 1994's Fantastic Four Animated Series, which represented the reality of Earth 534834. In Season 2, Episode 9, titled Nightmare in Green, where Rick Jones and Johnny Storm took the air cycle for a quick spin around the city, Juggernaut's hand was shown emerging from the Hudson River. Juggernaut in X-Men Evolution 2001 Animated Series Juggernaut next appeared in 2000's X-Men Evolution Animated Series. In this iteration, the characters were showcased as teenagers and not adults, and it represented the reality of Earth 11052. The series ran for four seasons, and Juggernaut was introduced in Season 1, Episode 9, titled Survival of the Fittest, released on March 3rd, 2001. He was the half-brother of Charles Xavier, and his mutant powers were shown to have awakened by Mr. At some point, he was defeated by Xavier and taken into a high-security prison where he was submerged in a cellular paralysis biofluid and monitored by Captain Stone. The fluid prevented him from breaking out and only Mystique freed him on several occasions. After being released from prison, Mystique unleashed Juggernaut to steal Professor X's Cerebro. He easily defeated Wolverine and smashed Cerebro. It was only after X-Men and the Brotherhood arrived on time and managed to remove Juggernaut's helmet that they allowed Xavier to use a metal blast and defeat his brother. Juggernaut 
Juggernaut was then placed in confinement until he once again managed to escape. He went on a rampage while Xavier was placed in stasis in prison. The X-Men had a tough time defeating him until Cyclops used his full potential and unleashed a powerful optic blast at Juggernaut, while Rogue managed to steal some of his powers. She then threw him in the air and Iceman froze him into a block of ice. Juggernaut appeared quite similar to his previous iterations, but with a younger face. Juggernaut in X-Men The Last Stand 2006 movie. Juggernaut's first appearance in live action movies was in 2006's X-Men The Last Stand. Played by actor Vinnie Jones, the character was classified as a mutant, unlike the comics, which stated a mystical source for his powers. The movie revolved around two events. First, Jean Grey being possessed by the Phoenix Force and Magneto's crusade to stop the cure, which could suppress the X-Gene in mutants and make them live a normal life of a human. Juggernaut was introduced when Magneto rescued Mr. Mystique from the government prison. While being transferred, Magneto destroyed the convoy all by himself and freed Mystique. However, there were two other mutants locked up with her. One was the Multiple Man and the other was the Juggernaut. Juggernaut was depicted much smaller than his comic book counterpart and he was recruited by Magneto for his Brotherhood of Mutants. As the movie progressed, both Magneto and Charles arrived at Jean's house to recruit the newly resurrected Jean to their side. As things got out of hand, Wolverine and Juggernaut fought until Jean disintegrated Charles Xavier. The Brotherhood of Mutants, led by Magneto set their mission to destroy the pharmaceutical company that created the cure, as well as the young boy Jimmy, whose blood was the source of the cure. The X-Men chose to be the first line of defense against Magneto and his team, while Kitty was sent to rescue Jimmy. On the other hand, Juggernaut was tasked with destroying him and charged through the facility, breaking everything. Kitty emerged from the ground and submerged Juggernaut into it using her powers. Juggernaut began chasing her as she was phasing through the walls and he kept breaking through them. As Kitty reached Jimmy, her powers stopped working and when Juggernaut arrived and dashed towards to crush them, he simply slammed against the wall and fell unconscious. The movie was later classified to be showcasing Earth 10005. Juggernaut in Wolverine and the X-Men 2009 animated series. Juggernaut's next appearance was in the 2009 animated series Wolverine and X-Men. The animated series ran for one season, in which Juggernaut made his first appearance in the 13th episode titled Battle Lines. His appearance was similar to that of the X-Men animated series except his arms were enormous here. He was shown to be a member of the Brotherhood and in his first appearance he was tasked to free Tildy Swams from the sleep MRD had cast her into. However, Tildy began growing restless and created a giant nightmarish monster around her. The monster hit Juggernaut with a shot that threw him out of the MRD lab like a meteor and landed in front of the X-Men. He later helped Rogue to get inside and calm Tildy down. Juggernaut made numerous other appearances where he fought the X-Men for reasons unknown. The animated series was later designated as Earth 8096. Juggernaut in the Superhero Squad Show 2009 animated series. Juggernaut also made an appearance in the Superhero Squad Show released the same year. The animated series was based on the Marvel Superhero Squad action figure series from Hasbro. Juggernaut's appearance was different from the comics as the entire series portrayed the characters in a cartoonish super deformed style. The animated series was made as a parody of the Marvel characters taking influences from the mini Marvel series of parody comic books. The child friendly nature of the series went harsh on certain characters, one of them being Juggernaut. He appeared in numerous episodes where he fought the superhero squad or dealt with the crisis with them but couldn't develop the character of Juggernaut. Later this animated series was announced as the reality of Earth 91119. Juggernaut in Black Panther 2010 Animated Series 2010's Black Panther Animated Series was where next Juggernaut made his appearance. It was released in January 2010 and was the first animated television series by BET since Hey Money. The series revolved around T'Challa becoming the new king of Wakanda and taking down Ulysses Claw, the murderer of his father T'Chaka. However, it was not T'Challa who managed to hunt down Claw but vice versa. As soon as the news of T'Challa becoming the new Black Panther spread, Claw decided to recruit a bunch of super villains and take control of Wakanda. He hired the Vatican Black Knight, Batrock the Leaper, Russian Radioactive Man and the Juggernaut. Juggernaut was shown to be a man of brute strength without much intelligence. Juggernaut was first introduced while fighting Wolverine and Cyclops. Cyclops' concussive blast had no effect on him and he kept charging at him before Wolverine stabbed his claws through his fist. Juggernaut next grabbed Wolverine and slammed him into Cyclops. He then punched Wolverine so hard that he crashed through a high-rise building. Following this, Claw appeared before him and hired 
inspired him. During his attack on Wakanda, he made the Vatican Black Knight take the air and Juggernaut take the ground. Juggernaut began building momentum and ran through all Wakandan defences. He broke electric fences and many such barriers with ease, following which T'Challa ordered his airstrike team to fire missiles at him relentlessly. Even that was futile as Juggernaut was unstoppable, and he even threw a cow at one of the aircrafts. He was finally subdued after they bombarded tranquilizers at him and rendered him unconscious. 2010's Black Panther showcased the reality of Earth 21127. Juggernaut in Ultimate Spider-Man 2012 Juggernaut next made his appearance in the Ultimate Spider-Man released in 2012 where he was voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson. He was introduced in Season 1 Episode 14 titled Awesome. He served as a tertiary character in the episode which mainly revolved around Awesome Android coming back to life and eating everything. He was shown attacking New York City and Spider-Man making efforts to stop him. Juggernaut's origins were kept as they were in the comics. At some point in his life, Kane Marco got the Crimson Gem of Citarac which granted him enormous strength and his crimson armour. When Juggernaut unleashed his attacks, most of the local heroes, including Spider-Man, failed to stop him. It was then the awesome android who arrived and consumed Juggernaut's costume and also stopped him. Then Spider-Man knocked him unconscious, following which he was taken to prison. Later in Season 2, Issue 11, Juggernaut managed to escape from prison and faced Iron Man and Spider-Man together. He still managed to flee but was tagged by the Spider-Tracer. The newly designed Spider-Tracer went into the control of a disgruntled scientist named Michael tan and it began replicating. This confused Juggernaut and he crashed into a cement truck where he got stuck with cement. He reappeared in Season 3 Episode 5 where he was shown to be robbing a bank. He was then stopped by Squirrel Girl but managed to escape following which he was knocked down by Spider-Man. Juggernaut in Marvel Disc Wars The Avengers 2014 Marvel Disc Wars The Avengers was an anime series launched by Toei Animation and the Walt Disney Company Japan. According to the story of the series, Iron Man, with the help of Japan's Dr. Nozomu Akatsuki, created a device that could help the cause of stopping villains and even detaining them. It was called the Digital Identity Securement Kit, or DISC. However, his plan failed miserably after Loki intervened during its presentation. He got hold of the device and used it to release all captured villains and capture Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor and the Wasp inside it. Nozomu's sons, Akira and Hikaru, along with Edward, Chris and Jessica, got hold of the discs and helped free the heroes for a short amount of time, during which they travelled across the world to get hold of the remaining discs. Juggernaut was also inside one of these discs and it was found by one of Loki's henchmen, Joel Murphy, in Season 1, Episode 12. Akira and Ed found Joel, who soon unleashed Juggernaut to stop them. In response to it, Akira released Iron Man from his desk, who was no match for the Juggernaut. Ed then released Hulk and the two were evenly matched until Hulk delivered some devastating blows to Juggernaut's head and defeated him. Ed then captured Juggernaut in a new disc. The disc was kept in the Avengers base but in episode 26 of the same season it was stolen by Noriko under the influence of Akumo Jubai. Loki got hold of Juggernaut's disc along with many other powerful villains with the aid of a device that channeled their powers into him. However when Loki was defeated the Juggernaut's disc was presumably lost. He was then shown in episode 41 after Joel once again got his disc and released him to attack a security conference along with the Celebrity Five. He first fought Thor and later Hulk before he was called into his disc by Joel. He was last seen in episode 41 working for the Celebrity Five which was three months after Loki and Dormammu had been defeated. This animated series was later designated to Earth 14042. Juggernaut in Deadpool 2 2018 movie. The ones who watched 2018's Deadpool 2 would certainly not forget Juggernaut. Although CGI generated, it was probably the most appropriate representation of the character with respect to its body proportions and strength. Juggernaut was voiced by Ryan Reynolds and the eyes and lips seen through the holes in his helmet were also that of Ryan Reynolds, only a bit enlarged. He initially appeared as a prisoner of an isolated prison for mutant criminals known as the Icebox, where he was secluded from the rest for being too dangerous. Later, after the prison attack by Cable, when he was being transferred along with many, Russell Collins freed him and made him his ally. He first made the vehicle carrying him and another crash, following which he tore Deadpool into halves. In the final battle of the movie, Juggernaut was confronted by Colossus and defeated. Later, the movie was classified to have showcased the reality of Earth 41633. Marvelous verdict. So we come to the end of our video and we hope you liked our content. Let us know your views of the character's depiction in the animated and live action movies and also specify your favourite versions. Like and subscribe to the channel for more content and stay tuned for the next Marvelous video.